I am Shimon Farber from Lawrence, New York, uh, a pre-med student in Yeshiva University. In the beginning of the academic year in September, I knew I was going to want to do this research this summer, so of course I checked the internet, went online, but, uh, tried to find any place in New York or even out of New York that would be good in research. And then in November, I got an email saying that a professor from Bar Ilan University is going to come and speak about a joint program. And of course, I went to the meeting to figure out what it's all about. I really had no clue what real research was, as I never had done it yet. Um, but of course, I wanted to. And when Professor Sukenik was describing the program, I thought, you know, this is actually something solid. I can apply for this, do it. I got the email in February, I think, that I got accepted. I was very excited uh, and accepted right away. I wanted to come back to Israel after spending some time here in Yeshiva. And, you know, I was able to finally have a full summer to spend time in Israel again. That was also very exciting for me. When I got here, even before I got here, before I got here, I sent an email to uh, Dr. Barnasad and saying, I'll be joining your lab, and I just want to know, have, have, have some background information what we're doing. She sent me an email. She had uh, her PhD student, Barak Reifer, sent me an email. We've been working one-on-one -on -one together the whole time. So the first email he sent me, he sent four articles that had more acronyms than actual real words. <laughs> Uh, so I really wasn't sure what was going on. A lot of it was on top of my head, above me. But at, by the second week here, I believe that I understood most of the articles. I reread all of them, and I was really uh, mind blown when I was like, "Oh, I actually understand this now. This is actually exciting." Uh, I didn't know what research was when I walked in. I thought maybe they're going to give me a like an outline here. This is what you're doing, but it has not been like that at all. He's been Barack Reifer has been with me every single step of the way. He's saying we're going to do this, we're going to do that. X, Y, Z is exactly what we have to accomplish today. In the first week, he showed me how. Then one day in the second week, it was a Thursday. He said, "By the way, I have a course today, so you're on your own. Enjoy." <laughs> and, and I was able to work up a whole, a whole Western blood, a whole bunch of proteins myself with uh, really, really good results. And that was probably the, uh, one of the light bulb moments where, where I realized that research is actually, I'm actually accomplishing something here. I'm doing something that's real solid. And I also realized that this isn't just something that it's not abstract, it's, it's, it's concrete. When Science textbooks come out every three years. Of course, for students, it's a pain because that means we have to buy the newest edition, which costs a lot of money. But I see that there's actually updates that happen in each of the science textbooks. It's not something that just you know, magically appears that we discovered this. The research that I'm doing right now could appear in the 2012 or 2013 edition of some immunology textbook. And that really is uh, one of the most exciting things. Uh, for me in the research field, and I hope really to continue to be able to do research even you know in medical school hopefully and past that It's uh, been really really a good exciting experience